What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Hunter. And I'm Julia. Julia this is Booker. This is Booker, this is our puppy. puppy. Um, if you guys have never been on our channel before, or you're just stumbling across this video, welcome. Um, we yeah. do tons of lifestyle, vlogs, home decor, all that good stuff, so feel free to stick around. Today's video is specific to Restoration hardware. Yes. Uh, we are big lovers of restoration hardware. We've bought a ton of furniture and pieces from them over the past couple of years. We're really into decor. Some yeah. pieces we love, some pieces we like, but have had to move around from room to room to try to find the right spot for. Maybe not worth buying. Yeah. So we wanted to give you guys a breakdown on all the pieces we've purchased from there for the past few years and tell you ones which ones are worth purchasing and which ones maybe you could pass on. Yeah, people ask about the restoration hardware pieces all the time, so we figured why not dedicate a video and just focus on those items and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna let Hunter talk about the coffee table because this is a great coffee table. I have like some passionate thoughts on this couch, so I'll let you do this one. No, this coffee table, this is probably like since we've been married and been together. We've been married for six years and this is probably our fourth coffee table yeah or fifth coffee table mm -hmm. but when we moved here we kind of changed our style up a little bit and moved away from just like only modern to something that had some traditional pieces in it as well as like antiques and so in order to mismatch that this kind of goes with that antique style even though it is modern and more traditional this coffee table does come in different colors i think there's a lighter wood as there might even be a gray Black, gray, yeah, yeah kind a of a bunch of different ones. This is the like, espresso, and it's also the largest size, but there are different shapes. So you can, depending on the shape of your room, you can get different shapes. Yeah, and before we decorated the room, we knew we wanted this piece, and this is the piece we started with, and yeah. then built off of it. So far, we've loved it. I, we really like the double layer, because we can like put a lot of shoes yeah. in here, um, a bunch of stuff. If you have kids, you could do baskets with books, and toys, and all that stuff. Nice. If you've been following for a while, you all know we bought that suitcase as well, that I was trying to land on top of the coffee <laughs> table. It's now in a slot underneath here, yeah. kind of hidden, basically hidden no, for no one to see. I would say of all the coffee tables we've had, this is like for sure our favorite. Yeah, and it's we'll really probably durable. Have, yeah, super durable and we'll probably have it for quite a while. And we love it. I do like that. All right, this couch, so, I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with this couch. It is the perfect shape. It's just a very classic couch. Now, um, we'll put the name of it. It's like the Belgian slope arm sofa. I have to say, this is the standard size of the couch, and I feel like it's definitely not deep enough. Um, I've actually been like frustrated with this couch. I feel like it's not as comfortable as I would have hoped for. I mean, it's fine, but I definitely like the one cushion, but I wish we would have gone with the deeper length for sure. Would have been more like loungy. And I also just feel like the stiffness of the cushions, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it was really worth the money that we spent on it. I also don't love the fabric. This is the for performance fabric, and to me, it just doesn't like read or feel restoration hardware quality. Like I just was hoping for more from them. I'm gonna say like the performance fabric, it's good if you have kids, like yeah. in terms of like taking care of it and managing it and stuff like that, but when it's performance, it's almost a little bit more stiff versus it's like, like glossy, airy right? and like luxury. Yeah. It yes. kind of takes away some of the luxuriousness of it. Um, and then another thing, she mentioned the depth of the couch. One other aspect that we might have changed now if we were to do it again, other than getting a different couch, is yeah. probably just get it like a foot longer. This is the nine foot, I think. Yeah. And we would, there's a, I think there's a 10 foot and an 11, or is it eight, nine, 10? Eight, nine, 10, I think we got the eight. We got the smallest option. Um, but when, it, we, when we first got it, I was like, it's like a grandparent's couch. It kind of, <laughs> like it's small. Yeah. 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 I it, don't know what and it And we, we do like it. It's aesthetically pleasing. It, like, it looks nice. But we're saying we get the extra foot because of the size of this living room. Yeah. You might not need an extra foot to yours depending on the size of your living yeah. room. Or you might need the biggest one. Like it really just depends. Or if your living room is a little bit smaller or if you're in an apartment, this would probably be perfect. Um, but I also just the fabric, and I think this is kind of maybe, it's not picky, but mm -hmm. a lot of people really like performance fabrics. But if you're really into like textiles and stuff like that, I've talked to a lot of other like designers uh, about this. and. I think there's like a shared hatred for uh, performance 
fabrics because they just don't look like very luxurious. Mm -hmm. Even the, um, the feeling of them. Yeah, it's just like, like a little rougher. Yeah. It's probably nice now that we have a puppy, like if he's like up here, uh, we do let him on the couch, so it's probably nice having the performance, but it's just not our favorite, and we would almost probably just get a different couch entirely if we were to get a new couch here. I think so. I just don't feel like it was worth the money. Yeah. But I'm surprised though because I've seen some other people that said that they love the, their couches mm -hmm. and that they're like they would totally invest in them. So I don't know. That's just very like specific. But I think it's just like when you go in the restoration hardware showroom, they have like their nice level, like more expensive fabrics on the display. Mm -hmm. So and the deeper couches. So you look at it and you're like, oh that's really cute and I love it. It feels super luxe. And then you we got ours. We didn't have enough time to wait to get the custom fabric, but if I were you, I would wait, get the yeah, nicer fabric, like the Belgian linen, yeah. um, and it, but it just takes like a really long time to get. So. Yeah, we definitely settled for this fabric we because we wanted it faster and to fill the room, and it still feels like we settled now that we have it. Yeah, So totally. Okay, so those are the living room pieces. Yeah, those um, are the two orange pieces in the living room. Yes. Everything else is from other places, which we'll cover in another video, but let's move on. All right, this is a really just small accessory that we have on our um, shelf. We've had this for a while. This is like a simple white, kind of like organic looking bowl from RH. You've probably seen it a lot on Instagram. We've had it for probably four or five years now and it's just the best decor accessory for a coffee table, entryway, bookshelves. Literally you can go in any room, it's white. It's the best thing from RH. I think it's like under 100. Yeah, we've, we've had it on our island, like in our kitchen, yes. like all over the place. We'll never get rid of it. It's like the best looking bowl. Just. It's a simple piece of decor. Okay, moving into the bedroom. Um, the first piece that we have from here is the biggest. It's just our bed. This is like the Parsons slip cover bed. And this, we actually got the nicer fabric on. We waited for it. And we are so happy we did that. It just makes it look so much better than the performance fabric, I think. And we've never once questioned this purchase. It's so nice. We got it with the footboard. We're obsessed. It's so simple. We would we'll keep it forever. It could go in any room. I like that the headboard goes up high Same. because and when you we can get different heights. Because when we add the art above the bed, it kind of just like frames in the art a little bit too. Totally. I know we still need art and our we are getting drapes in here. There's being custom made, so they're taking a while. Some people are like, are you just not gonna put curtains? We're like, we're like a few more weeks away. Curtains. I think it's like three weeks. Yeah. Uh, they'll be ready and installed. But we love this bed. Oh, the other thing that I would highly recommend from RH are the King Lounger pillows. I get so many questions on these pillows and it's literally, they're the only company that, I think they like created this size. They're huge. They're basically like double the width of a Euro sham. Like they're huge, but they're so awesome. I've had them since the last house. I love decorating. I have them literally on every bed in our house right now. I'll show you each room we go into. Uh, the king loungers are on every bed, but they're just really nice. You can put them behind your pillows and they kind of act as a headboard. Um, I just feel like they, they stretch over a king bed. They're so big and jumbo. They're like, Amazing. You can get any cases you want from like their different lines. These are the linen ones. I have velvet, all different kinds, but they're separate. You just have to buy the, the pillows and then put the inserts, but I love them. And they just make every bed look like super luxurious. If you have a king bed, they're obviously the width of a king. We don't sleep with them. No, we don't. Um, they're just for decor. And then uh, we actually, this little coverlet is from RH. We have a lot of bedding from RH um, have the matching duvet cover to this, sheets and everything there at the dry cleaners, but I think their bedding is 100% worth it. Um, it's really nice quality. It, it's hard to find good bedding and that I think is definitely worth the price. They have good textiles. Like, good textiles. Um, their bedding accessories are good. Yes, I would agree. So this duvet cover is Brooklinen and then these are the RH linen, but I have the matching duvet to this and we've also loved that. It's just different material. So we switch them back and forth, but the RH bedding is like a no fail. It yep. is really good yep. if you want to buy it. Uh, next in our bedroom, we have this like little ottoman cubes. We have one under each nightstand. We initially had them at our last house under an entryway table. We had both of them kind of like next to each other under like an entryway console table. Yeah. Um, but we really liked them. We'll probably always keep these as well and have a place for them, whether they're at the end of the bed as like a bench. Totally. I don't even have them in a living room. Totally. Like seats. Yes, I agree. Um, they're kind of like a good little decor accessory. Yeah. And we tuck them all the way in. We've also had it before where it's kind of like out a little bit. It really just depends on how you want it, but good quality. Okay. The last thing in the room is we have two of these faux olive trees. These are from Restoration Hardware and the planters are as well. We get 
so many questions on olive trees. I would say they do look good, but in our opinion, they haven't really been worth it, I don't think, only because we feel like the color is actually not really that realistic. Like, it kind of looks turquoise in a way or something. I don't know. I do really like the, the leaves and I like how you can bend the branches and everything. Um, I wouldn't buy it again. I'll put it that way. I feel like there's better trees that are more affordable. Yeah, and the pots are so big that there's you're so limited on where you can put them. I, there are different sizes to this, but this is the largest size of the planters, and we used to have them outdoor at our old house. On um, the porch, where what they yes. were covered, they weren't getting rained on, but the sun was slowly kind of changing the Faded color of the, the leaves. leaves. And the um, and the planters were more proportionate to the porch, so it obviously is not supposed to be in here. It's way too big. I think there's probably other all, or I would say. As my advice is like, in terms of style, I would now just get real trees. I think they look better. And it doesn't have to be olive or get a real one and just grow it. Can you see the turquoise? Like, look, oh, this one, you could really tell. And this is just from the sun. So if you have it like in a window, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, but we just, we wouldn't buy it again. Or tell someone a, to get that. A, another slight suggestion is get a smaller pot. Like <laughs> it would look, no, truly, like it would look yeah. better if the tree was sitting in a smaller pot you could do more things with it. it could go in more areas yeah that alone just takes up a lot of space so you're limited on what you can do with it we have large ceilings and like these trees are hard to find a place that they fit even yeah. without the pot you know okay moving to our kitchen or dining room so these chairs um we actually have new chairs coming for our dining table but these have been here temporarily these were our old dining chairs from our last house and we actually have really love these chairs. Um, these are the performance fabric, and I don't really mind them on the chairs for some reason. They look good. And the best thing that we did with these dining chairs was we got them with the wheels on the bottom. And I swear to you, every single person that sat in these is like, the wheels are literally like the best part because you can like roll in and out of the table. It makes it so easy. Um, and I don't, I think it might just be like a, $20 more for each chair, so it's like really not that crazy. Um, but I feel like these have been the best chairs, definitely worth the investment. We move them around to like all different rooms. You can use them at desks, dining tables, breakfast nooks, literally anywhere. Yeah, at our last house, we had it in our dining room as well as the breakfast nook. And yeah. so now we like have a ton of these that we place throughout the house. And they are, they're really nice. So yeah, what are we gonna do with, the, with these now that we have the new dining room chairs I coming? I don't know, what are we gonna do with them? Maybe, I'll probably keep them in the, um, the attic or our storage until we like have something we need them for. I feel like it'd be good for like a vanity or something like that as well. Totally, they're just good chairs to have. Yeah. All right, next in the kitchen we have these bar stools. We got these also for our last house and they go really nice in here as well. I don't think we've once regret this purchase. No. That doesn't mean we're not gonna at some point change out the bar stools in here. Totally. But we do like these a lot and if we were to change these out it would just be because we're changing everything in our kitchen and wanna adjust the look of the bar stools. Yeah, I really like the texture of the seats on these ones. Um, I feel like that was like really nicely done. Love it, love the color. It, if you're going for more of like a bohemian vibe, this could also work in your house. Totally. It, it really is kind of like versatile with whatever your style is, whether it's more modern. I know. Because it's more traditional shape. They could go farmy, yeah, they could like go farm, anything. They could go bohemian, really up to you. All right, next in the kitchen are these two lights. I installed these probably three months ago, I'd say. We had other lights in here that were more like the farm style, like big cube looking lights, which weren't bad, you shouldn't really go with our aesthetic. These, we knew we wanted something more of like a cone shape, and we see all the time like the black ones or the white ones didn't come off pretty farmy. We wanted something that was like modern, but still like pretty simple and still in this cone shape that we liked. We like it was like the gold accents, like the brass uh, hardware on top. I feel like we could keep these in here no matter what we do to the kitchen, mm -hmm. it will go with anything. So. These would be nice in like an office too, yeah. or like, Even I don't like know. a bathroom if you have like yeah. hanging lights above your vanity or something totally. like that. Or a laundry room, they'd be nice also. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like they're like modern. Like if you have a really modern house, these can work, but they also, in something like this, this house isn't like super modern, or it's more traditional I'd say. It kind of like lightens it up a little bit. Yeah, it's like a, more of a transitional style. So I think against all of the wood that we have, like the glass was kind of a nice mix in, um, in terms of material, because all yeah, of our other- Black would have been really harsh in here. Yeah. Black would have just blended in. So we wanted something that was like a little bit different, but still the same shape that we were going for. Okay, welcome to our sitting porch. Um, so this whole 
set is from Restoration Hardware. Actually, this guy's from West Elm, so not this part, but the chairs and the couch we brought from our last house. And I do really like the shape of um, the, the style of the collection. I feel like this has been good quality outdoor furniture. I hate like cheap, tacky looking outdoor furniture. I feel like it is definitely something worth spending your money on because it's gonna make your house look much more luxurious um, and it's gonna be more durable. So with all outdoor furniture like this, it's um, made out of teak. So unfortunately it just does weather. That's kind of like how it goes with furniture, but I feel like it's been pretty sturdy. The cushions have been easy to clean. We'll just power wash them um, or you can take them off and clean them. And I feel like the outdoor, the RH outdoor furniture is definitely worth the investment. My mom owns a different collection. It's like more of the wicker style and she is obsessed with it. It's like weatherproof. Um, I definitely feel like that's something they're really, really good at is outdoor furniture. Would you agree? Yeah, this is part of the outdoor collection, but I think it's meant to be under a porch. Covered under area. Like a, under yeah. a covered area. Cause you can see like where it's gotten wet, but when you're spending money at RH, like you want something that's not gonna weather, especially if it's outdoor furniture. Totally. So I wouldn't suggest this if it is for outside. I, I would suggest it covered. if it's under a covered area. And what Julie was saying earlier about like investing money in outdoor furniture, I, I agree with that. Especially if it's an area that's like covered and like this is a screened in porch for at night, like in the summertime, no bugs and stuff like that. So yeah. we spend a lot of time out here. You want it to be like good quality. Definitely. So. And I feel like you can just tell when like outdoor furniture was from like, I don't know, just somewhere that it's like, I don't know, not made with good materials. You can just feel the difference. I mean, even so. that, you can feel like it has more of like a plasticky feel 100%. versus this. But that is actually just like a chest we put like the, the cushion covers and all that kind of stuff in there. Yeah. More I of a know storage. it's like very hefty investment, but if you get like a classic set of outdoor stuff from RH, you might have it literally like your whole life. It would be worth it. All right, we are now in my office and it's kind of a mess right now. It's cleared out actually. We had a big desk in here and we're about to redo this and paint it and all kinds of stuff to the office and transfer it to like a bourbon library room. But this chair is from RH. This is part of like, I think it's called like the Yeti collection or something like that. But they have different colors in this. They have couches made out of this material. I really like it. I like the look of it, but it's not really practical. Like I think this gets like, dirty easy like things get center. caught on it yeah. yeah um but it is nice like if you're going for a chair like this we even consider like maybe putting it in our bedroom as like a corner chair uh something like that but i would say like the black is the hard part so yeah. if this was like a lighter material or like a, even like a lighter gray or something like that we would probably use it more i'm going to try to use it in here once the room is done i'm going to test it but if not it's going to be one of those things that we like probably sell on facebook and Marcus. i've seen some dupes for this like on burke decor and stuff so just saying. yeah and then last thing uh in here is this uh chair as well and this is a piece that i really like you yeah. see all these like at different antique shops and stuff like that but i like that they recreated it and made it look like it was an older style chair and it can raise up and down so i actually keep it down in my wood shop most of the time and if i'm ever doing projects down there which is rare these days, but it's a good chair to like kind of move around, move around the shop if I'm ever like at, at the desk down there or moving to like a different like tool that I'm using, kind of like roll around, so. I feel like they're good. This is like the RH specialty is like that industrial style. Anything with like hardware and metal, they're good at. Yeah, and one of the things we're doing to the office is we're taking off these drawers here. And so this will actually be my desktop. We're bringing in like a walnut, big thick cut of wood and making it the desk in here so it's not like it opens up the room a little bit and so i want to test this chair out as well as this chair to see what i like better like underneath the desk oh so, looks so good yeah. to the upstairs okay welcome to the upstairs hunter and i don't really show or film up here that often just because we've been working on decorating it we're working on the guest bedrooms and um, we'll show some sneak peeks because we do a few of our rh pieces in them but we're gonna wait to like reveal the full bedrooms of those like coming up this in the next few months probably so stay tuned we're working on them they're cute all right so this dresser we had in the last bedroom in our master bedroom in our last house in texas if you guys have been following along i think this is a beautiful piece i do think their dressers are really like substantial they're heavy they're really pretty the one thing that we noticed about this dresser that really bothered us was the drawers and when there was things in there, they literally, they would fly open like literally all the time. Um, they're empty right now. 
but when we had clothes in them, we would we would close one, and when we would close it, it would pop open another one, and it was literally just like a it was like a board game. And it is nice that they like are like the pushing like yes. that, but like it doesn't they're, always they're like they're not close, like strong. Enough. It doesn't like close perfectly. No. And so we would just say like I know some of y'all have bought this before after our suggestion, and. We hope it works for you well, but it just got annoying to us after after a while. So that's one thing. I mean, it didn't annoy us to the point where I wouldn't recommend buying it, but I'm just saying it's just something to, to note if you're like, I don't know. We come home sometimes and like a drawer would be open like, and we'd be like, who the hell is here at our house? Yeah. And like, they would just kind of like be propped open like that. Just, yeah. So that was a little frustrating. I also wouldn't do this gray again. I feel like that gray vibe was popular for a while and we just like really have moved away from that gray gray wood it's just like wood that looks a little bit more natural whether dark or light so those are our thoughts but I do really I did really like this one. this little I think this is an actually an African woven basket that might be the name of it well, again we'll double check got this from RH and um, we've had this for a while I think it's a great decor piece I put it on the ground really tall branches in it these are pompous grass I just got them literally in Texas I like cut them down from a pompous bush um, people always ask where you get them, but literally just it grows everywhere. Just look around. You can kind of there was walk. more of it in Texas for sure. Yeah. We have another size too. I think we have a bigger one somewhere in our attic, maybe in storage. Yes. I think we bought two like of them. Like a really, really big one. Mm -hmm. This is the smaller version, but it's cute for um, just on top of tables. All right. Welcome to the guest bedroom. It's like the guest suite. It's like our biggest guest bedroom. It's the biggest, house. yeah. It's like yeah. where like our parents stay when they come into town and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, and this one we're the most excited about. We are still finishing it, but we will show you guys the new bed because this is from Restoration Hardware. And we're kind of basing all of the decor around this bed this bed frame. Yeah, we said we were gonna show this room probably about a month or two ago, but still not done. <laughs> RH actually screwed up the delivery three times. Yeah. So yeah. That was a bit of a bummer, but we didn't want to decorate the rest of the room, like you said, until this was here and then build off of it. So. You really have to see it to like, you know, yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so we're really excited for the final version. We love the bed. Still, like, we love the bed. And we actually think this would be a fantastic master bedroom. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sometimes Hunter and I come up here and we're like, we wish this was our room. Yeah. But it's beautiful. We got the tallest height of bed that you can get for this canopy and yeah. it was great. Um, we we was looked great. at a couple different uh, canopy beds at what, like Crate and Barrel? Crate and Barrel. We looked. They were all really short. They were like, I think, se 89. seven feet tall or something like that was the tallest. Inches, yeah. Um, and we wanted something that would like fill the room. So we ended up, I took the fan off um, and wanted to go like yeah. all the way up to the top of the, the ceiling. I think there's like four or five inches like left to the ceiling, so. Yeah, um, highly recommend this bed. It's beautiful in person. I've actually seen a few people with it um, on like Instagram in different colors. I think it's our friend gorgeous. Maddie, Maddie Nelson, Nelson just got, just got this and bed. Yeah, yeah, and her, they have a beautiful new home and um, they're, I think they're loving it too. It's a really sturdy, mm -hmm. gorgeous shape and it's awesome. Yeah, um, it, it's yeah. been up here now for probably a month or so. Yeah. But we actually pulled the nightstands yes. from our last master bedroom and yeah. brought them up here. We don't love these. We um, do not. Well, I don't even think they make this one. These yeah, ones we got them at a but... Restoration Hardware outlet, actually. Yeah. And we liked them at the time, but it was when we were still going for more of like a grayish uh, tone in yeah. our house. And ever since that, ever since our last house, we had so many grays in the house, we are like, we want to get away from that oh, as fast as possible. That. So. I know, but I do think that their nightstands would be worth the investment. Yes. Like, they're really sturdy, the wood's good, like, they're definitely hardy and yeah. worth the money for sure. Um, I just don't think they make that specific style anymore, but something very similar. And sometimes, like, with even, like, going beige like this, it yeah. can sometimes pull gray, and so that's why we want to get, like, the gray out of here. Yes. So it does give off more of a beige look rather than, like, seem gray because it's next to gray nightstands. Yeah, but all our furniture, you guys always ask like what we do with our furniture, we either like donate it, we will sell it on Facebook Marketplace, we'll give it to friends and family, mm -hmm. we never just like throw, throw it, away. it away or like do yeah. anything weird like that. We actually have a really nice like attic space, it's not like an attic you think or it's just like a bunch of crap, we have like a huge attic storage. platform so it feels more of like storage and we keep a lot of stuff in there. So. Yeah, and then also notice the king loungers on here as well, like mm -hmm. everyone loves these pillows, they just make your bed look so good. But we, we love, love just like the start of this room, we love how it's coming together. We I have know. a few antique pieces. We have a whole setup behind us here that we're not going to show you yet. Yeah, that's But we're really excited to show you everything. Yeah. Bed, recommend. Highly recommend. We love it. 10 out of 10. All right, we're 
in the media room. This is like the our, downstairs. This is our spot, like on lazy Sundays and stuff. Her and mm -hmm. I come down here and just like watch movies. Totally, it's really cozy. Um, and all of this furniture we had in our living room in our last house. Well, these these were in my office. Yeah, these were in your office, but yeah. uh, the couch and the coffee table. Yeah. Uh, we just popped down here and it ended up being perfect. Our couch is actually a, an RH Cloud like dupe from Monarch Sofas. Yeah. Um, and we'll link their information below. Also, you guys can go back and watch all of our old like home videos and it shows all this stuff so we'll put those down below. Yeah we have a video talking about this couch specifically we'll link down below and we're linking everything we're talking about so yeah. just if you have any questions go to the description box we'll link it all there. But this is from Restoration Hardware and so are these two chairs. Yep. I love these chairs like a lot and I I feel like it's a piece that we'll all, pieces we'll always have. Yeah they're beautiful. And they can really go in multiple areas. Like these might even look good in like a sitting area in front of a bed instead of those like home goods chairs or something totally. like that. Totally. They're just like, they look so um, classy and luxe. Yeah. Like even in, like maybe in the bourbon room or something like that. Mm -hmm. So this wood and this wood are actually the same color woods and this more of that gray wood we we're talking about that we're trying to get away from. I think it works because everything yeah. here is kind of cool toned. So as long as you have it all together, then it's fine. Especially for a media room, like the lights are usually dark. It doesn't really matter. Um, so one, we're fine with it. One thing I find interesting is we actually mentioned it when we were up in that guest bedroom, which is that beige can sometimes be a gray color. Yeah. This was also supposed to be like a beige, yes. lighter leather. And when you, when you see it with like the gray, it pulls gray. We thought it was gonna be more taupe. Like, like cream, taupe yeah, colored. But it turned out like straight up gray. But this yeah. leather is so nice on these chairs. Yeah. Um, I think these chairs are totally worth it. They're beautiful. They're really cool chairs. They're really nice. They, they have a, um, I think the leather it almost looks like aged. Yeah. But it's on like a modern style chair. Totally, it's and so cool. You see these all the time. I've been seeing these at like other furniture places. Like they knock like, them off. They're knocking them off and recreating them. So you can probably find like a dupe of these. Yeah. Uh, with different like materials, different different color wood, different uh, color leather, or just like faux leather. But they are nice. Love the chairs. Love the size of the coffee table. Love this coffee table. Yeah. And I like this coffee table. I've seen other people have it in other finishes. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this shape. I think it's so pretty mm -hmm. in any um, any space. This is a square. Our yes. one in our living room is now more of like a rectangle. We want something a little bit longer. Yeah. This is a perfect square. I think it's, is it 60 by 60 or 48 by 48? Uh, yeah, it's Here. pretty big. Oh, wait, we have a tape. <laughs> I swear, I was just trying to get upstairs. Um, 60. 60 by 60? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so it's huge, but we love it. It's super heavy, very sturdy. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Love it, any color, highly recommend. And this is a good setup down here. It is. Like it's it really actually cozy. worked out perfect for the size of this room. Everything like worked out really perfect. Totally, I like it. Behind this, we'll take you there real quick. So this was our old table that used to be our eating table in our last home. Um, our dining space was a lot smaller, and this is what we had there. This is from RH. We actually got this one secondhand off Craigslist, like literally six years ago, I think. We bought it secondhand. We wouldn't recommend this table. We noticed like the paint chipped a ton. We were constantly like recoating it. We would buy paint and like repaint it. It kind of warped a little bit. I would not recommend the table um, straight away. But these are also a similar shape to our dining room chairs upstairs. They're a little bit of a more modern shape. Um, and these were amazing. Again, they have the wheels on the bottom for like a, a fun like game table. That's just what we're using this for. I think they're perfect and they're awesome. Again, that uh, performance fabric and the chairs are really, really good. So go kind of anywhere. Yeah, we brought this down here. We were gonna get rid of this table actually, but yeah. we had this like little open nook down here in the basement behind the media room area. And we were like, oh, that'd be a perfect card room. Totally. Or card table, games. like poker's table. Yeah. So. Nice think, little spot to hang out and still be able to like watch the movie and stuff. Totally, I think it's cute, but it works. I just don't know if I'd buy it again. Wouldn't buy it again. Yeah. All right, last piece is this gigantic buffet that we got and used in our last dining room. This would not fit in our current dining room, so we moved it down here just for storage. Um, honestly, I think this is a beautiful piece. We really, really like it. It is so well made. It's super heavy, durable. Um, but we honestly just like never put stuff in it. I would, if I could go back, I would have done the non glass doors because I felt like I was always worried about things looking nice because you can see through the doors. So maybe do the ones with the wood over them. I know they do make that and that would be really pretty, but 
I just found that it was really, really chunky and kind of hard style sometimes. I don't know. I just, it, I think it, we kind of evolved past it, but it is a really pretty piece. And if you just get it in a different wood color, I think it would have worked better. Yeah, I think black, black is so harsh. It's so harsh. And unless you're going for like a ultra modern house, yes, it's tough. just really tough to make it work when it's like black. And our house, the exterior isn't a modern home. And so it doesn't really work, but uh, we consider sometimes maybe moving this piece underneath the uh, media room screen yeah. and raising the screen up a little bit. But it's a it's a really cool piece. Like the quality is great, the size is great. Yeah, it's just really hard because it's black, and we'll most likely either keep it there, or we could move it into our workout room and store like weights and stuff in it. That can make it really nice. That can be cool. Yeah, I, I just I think I would do a different color wood, but it is beautiful and it's just really big. So you need to have the right wall for it. This house doesn't have a spot for it, but. It would be so pretty under a TV or something um, and like a little washer. Alrighty, that is it, you guys. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. If you guys have any other questions on any of the pieces you saw, leave them in the comments down below or shoot us an email. We'll answer yeah, yes, I think the decor, too. like, we've been really busy and travel over the past couple it months. It takes so long. And busy with work. And now we're ready to get, like, the house in check. Yeah, like, it's looking better. Yeah, we, we're liking it. We're just ready to, like, wrap it up. And we're hosting Christmas this year for Julia's family. Mm -hmm. And so I think it kind of gave us, like, a nice boost. A push to finish the guest bedrooms and get the house ready. Yeah, so stay tuned. We'll have tons of room reveals coming up on the channel. Also, if you have any home decor video requests, leave them down below. I think we're more excited to get the rooms done than even you guys already yeah, see them. Yeah, so seriously. <laughs> we'll get to it, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.